Illinois lottery sales strike it rich, and that means winning numbers for public schools. Good evening. I'm Patrice Dayton. Mark Allen has a night off. The Illinois lottery began 36 years ago, but it's this year, during a recession no less, that the lottery sees record-breaking sales. In tonight's Economy Watch, News 10's Kate Green explains why trying to beat the odds helps schools beat the budget. There's no luck involved if you want to see someone buying a lottery ticket in Illinois. The Mega Million, Powerball, the regular lotto, the little lotto, that's mainly what we sell the most of. Jackie Miller works at Casey's in Paris, Illinois. She sees new faces taking a chance every day. Now everybody's doing the power play and the mega play because I think they're going to double their money. Hey, thank you. People still spending money even during one of the worst economic times. These hard times became the best time ever for Illinois lottery sales. But people just want to get rich quick. They think it's fast money. People spent $2.2 billion during the 2010 fiscal year. Of course, some people are, are wanting to hit big money and, and win lots of money. That's what I hope for. But walking out with one of these isn't a complete gamble. Because some of the lottery sales is going right here to public schools. In fact, more than $600 million is going to public school funding this year. A year when schools hope to beat the odds with their budget. So while you hope to see the winning numbers, schools also hope to continue to see some luck come their way. In Paris, Illinois, with photojournalist John Tim, Kate Green, News 10. The lottery has contributed to more than $14 billion to the state common school fund to assist grades K through 12 in public schools. Now, a question for you. Did you start buying lottery tickets in Illinois or Indiana when the recession hit? Let us know on our online poll at WTHITV.com.